Hey guys, I want to share with you something pretty cool, in my opinion. This is a recycled uh, car jump starter pack. A friend of mine is a scrapper, and he hauls scrap metal and junk. I've been telling him for years I want to keep the batteries that he gets in hand, but often he takes them to the metal recycling plant right away. And he had the, a couple jump starters, which he gutted out. And all I got was the shell. Now I'll show you in a minute. All right, I have recycled this jump starter. You can see the LEDs are on and it's, on, it's charging. I have recycled this jump starter to make it a battery charging system for small lead acid batteries. If you happen to have small lead acid batteries like I do for experimentation or for alarms and cameras and security systems, this little device makes a perfect battery charger for your little batteries, 12 volt batteries that is. Um, I'll show you in a minute, I'll take it all apart here because it's time for me to take this off anyway. Um, give me a second and I'll take this all apart and I'll show you what we have and how it can be recycled to recharge batteries. Okay, well here's a battery. I actually have that from Tractor Supply and that is a game camera battery. And I also have the battery charger that goes with the game cameras. So that helps a lot for security, surveillance, and watching deer, which is important at hunting season. Um, that's how I knew there were no deer out here this year. Anyway, that's not the point of this video. This is a 12 volt sealed lead acid battery which is perfect for charging on these little car jump starters. Now, this is exactly how I got it from my friend in this condition. It was sitting in the bed of his truck one day, looked except for I put the terminals on myself. He had cut the wires off the battery and he had literally broken this open and I think cut it with pliers. Hacked it, cut it, here hacked off wire. He had cut off the, uh, the, the battery cables, the, the jump starter cables. You can see one right here. Just cut them off and uh, he was in a hurry to save the copper and the lead from the battery. Threw it in the bed of his truck, took the batteries into scrap, and I had two of these that I saw in the bed of his truck one day. And I asked if I could have them and he said sure. You can often get these jump starters for free because people have them laying around everywhere. And sadly, they don't last but three to six months if you don't take care of them properly, which hardly anybody does because it takes constant maintenance to keep these in good shape. The batteries are lead-acid batteries, and people don't realize they have to be trickle-charged and maintained or they will die. And people don't keep them on the charge all the time. So they die. Anyway, these are everywhere, and there's some great usable stuff in here, okay? There is, it is fused, it has a 12 volt power outlet, which is fused, alright, and that in itself is great for off-grid homesteads like ours, or for camping, we can throw this in the back of the truck, and take a battery with us, and we have a 12 volt power outlet. Some of them have a USB port, a power inverter, and it gets on more and more elaborate, and those are cool because then you would have a power inverter, and a USB charging port. This is a very simple and basic one though, and there's some other really nice stuff in here which I'll show you in a minute. There's, on the back, you have a battery charging and maintainer circuit, which basically is everything you need to maintain your battery properly. So all you do is plug in the battery, apply power, and it is an automatic charging system. So this is great. And if you get these for free, then you're saving yourself $50 in comparison to a battery maintainer or uh, battery charging unit. So, really cool. Then, also, there's the switch right here. This is a very good on-off switch. Obviously, that would turn on the jumper cables to give you boost to go out to your, your car. This can be just taken out and used for other projects because it is, this one specifically is a 300 amp jump starter. So I would figure this is at least a 300 amp switch. Okay, so I will probably one day take this off of here 
mount this and this on a board and then I have myself a very simplified charging unit for a battery, for a lead acid battery. Now I'm going to reconnect this and show you something else that's cool. But by the way, just to note, I did say this is, this is a fused 12 volt cigarette lighter socket, which is great. There's the fuse. It popped out when he was dismantling the thing, but I can put it back in simply. Very, very cool. It's a, that's a bonus. Cool switch, fused 12 volt cigarette lighter outlet, and a full charging system. Plus, that's not all. Sounds like a TV ad, right? We'll be right back. Okay, I've plugged the battery back into the leads. Now when I got this, all I had to do was crimp on two end connectors. The slide on end connectors, crimp them on, that's it. And then I slide them onto a lead acid battery, and you're done. That's all you have to do. Swap, take out the old battery, put in the new. Obviously, if you get a complete system, you don't even have to do that. Um, mine was, the way I got mine, obviously, was cut and hacked up. Yours, you'll probably get complete. Swap out the battery, and you have happiness. Now, we have here a battery level meter. All right, it's got, needs some uh, cleaning on the switch. It was out in the bed of his truck and it's dirty. But you can see, if I press it, I get high, which tells me the status of the battery. That is really cool. And a neat little bonus. I have another one that has an actual voltmeter built in that I got that same day. And it has some other cool features. But just wanted to show you how you can recycle car jump starter packs and get some really cool electronics parts and a fully automated battery charger so there you go guys troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project talk to you all later